Hello guys, buenas, buenas, mofos, how are you today my friends? We're back to YouTube with the episode number two of Andy and Lily, or how we call it, the coffin of Pepe and Sumi. And we have here with us right now the evil itself, the impersonation of everything that's bad. Oh wait, I have, I have her on mute, son of a... one second. Okay, sorry for that, Sums. I was doing the intro and talking to you and I didn't realize again that I was on mute. So um, <laughs> let me do that again. You're fine. We're here with the one herself, the only the impersonation of evil and everything that's bad with this role, at least on the game. Sumi Kaboom, how are you, Sums? Awake and ready? I'm fantastic. Ready, 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 ready. Super excited. Amazing. So we're going to start with episode number two, guys. Hopefully the game save itself. So let's see. Yes. Episode number two. Graves. As same as last time, we're going to do uh, voices. So she's going to voice every single female character. And I'm going to do the same for the narrator and every single male character. So let's go. <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> Throat clear now. Let's go. You're finishing up what's left or you, of your lunch. Wait, I, I don't want to mess this up. Give me one second, guys. Am I good on stream? I'm not sure if I'm good on stream. No. How do I check that? Okay, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. We're good, we're good. Let's continue. Yeah, you are. Okay. Uh, the consequences of your actions have yet catch up with you, which is nice. There's nothing interesting in the paper, right? I'm not done reading. It's been a week. The odds that there is something now are non-existent. Just let me check. <laughs> ah, I'm bored. How much longer can we stay here anyway? We're almost out of money. Okay, do you see these guys? Do you see these? I mean... She's bored and she's gonna start a fire. She's gonna burn myself. <laughs> the fuck's wrong with this girl? Hey, Bill. Go oh, I can I can barely read your name, bro. Sorry, Bill Godwit. Hello, bro. I know who that is. Who that is? I believe it. I I. Is it okay, Bird? Uh, wait, no. <laughs> I think it's Bird. <laughs> I think. Could it bird. be Bird? Either way, thanks for coming, bro. <clears throat> there we go. Technically, I have money. I just can use it without giving away where I am to the bank. So, no money then. And I don't get why they want to check my ID for every fucking thing. Like, goddamn, I just want to stay at the hotel. Why do you need to know who I am? I'm paying on front, aren't I? It's not like I'd bail out of them. Boo hoo. The motel is just fine too. It, it's really not. I swear I hear gunshots last night. Or was it that just you? I haven't shot anything. Jet? Ah! What? I think I left my gun back in the room. I really wish you'd be less nonchalant about everything all the time. <laughs> hey now, we can't both be constantly shitting ourselves all over every little thing. True, let's get back to the motel before someone breaks in and steals the damn thing. Oh, <laughs> uh, um, um, oh yeah, so it's Bird. Hey, Bird. Bad. Wait, we need to go back to Hi the here. hotel, man. Okay. Who's this uh, 
little fella right here. Hello. Are you looking for something specific? Nah, just window shopping. Oh, in that case, may I interest you in leaving me the fuck alone? Dude, why is everyone so fucking evil? <laughs> I think they're leveling up, leveling up with you. I feel like I must match your energy. Um, could this be the hotel? This is in the room, no. And thank God for that. A putrid stench. What's from within? So, upstairs? Yep. Dude, we're messy. Well, maybe you are. Andrew has been hoarding newspapers ever since you arrived. It's the paper from a few days ago. There's nothing worthwhile writing on it. The paper isn't even comfortable enough to wipe your ass with. Why? Okay, whatever. All in all, total <laughs> waste of money. That's this game for you. Yeah. Perfect. <clears throat> Leave it to Andrew to insist on getting a room with two separate beds. Why? Why not? <laughs> Don't fucking know. <laughs> Only to then have a panic attack every other night. <laughs> Surely, what's wrong with you? The closet is empty, <laughs> except for... Reclaim your gun! Yes! That is not really yours anyway, but whatever. The warden's gun is yours now. Awesome! Gizantrayadora, hello, hi, hi, hi! There's an article about a chemical leak in some city you've never been to. The article details instructions for people in the area to stay home and to seal their windows. Asthmat workers will be sent to rescue people block by block. I think that's the same as... I suppose I should throw these in the washer while I still can. Hey, get your fat ass off the way! Ass! I think you meant my awesome fat... <laughs> <laughs> This game, no. <laughs> Jesus. Move your cow. <laughs> Are you allowed to say these things on YouTube? I don't. I, I did, you know, at this time, I don't care anymore. Oh, man. <laughs> so, well, I have my gun now, so... Am I supposed Okay, I'm doing laundry. You throw the laundry in the washer. No what? Why? I swear, I feel like I'm always doing chores. <laughs> yeah, she is right, and, and Pepe is just there lacing around. Yeah, lazing around the couch, doing nothing. Hey you. Aren't you tired of drinking the same old water every day? Yeah, it's so wet. Have you tried toxic so toxic soda? It's water, but worse. Now in three new flavors. Awful, gross, and nasty. Try them today. Mmm, toxic soda. Tastes like life. I don't know why I'm drinking this. Um. All done. You're welcome. Great, thanks. I really am such a sweetheart. You're so damn lucky to have me. Yeah, yeah. I cook and I clean and I feast on the eyes. Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day like a slob? Knock it off. Hmm. You're not gonna be in the news. Pepe? <laughs> Pepe. Yeah. Pepe. <laughs> I should have known. Ooh. What are you gonna do about it, Pepe? <laughs> gonna choke me out again, are you? Are you? 
Do you want me to? Oh, come on. I'm kidding. It's all good fun. I thought we were fine. We are. I'm just messing around. It's just a nickname. Get over yourself. It's the one thing I ask you for. Uh, it's the one thing I ask of you. And it's symbolic, dumbass. You and your romanticism. Shove it up your ass. I don't know what I was expecting. Listen, I'm behaving. What more do you want? I'm being so good to you. Are you? Because I'm getting the opposite impression here. Yeah, yeah. You think I'm so awful, huh? You want to see what it's like when I actually misbehave? I don't like where this is going. It could be so much worse. Should I show you just how awful I really am? Go for it! That you're gonna find me a lot less accommodating than, Andy, than Pe Pepe. And now to some less important news. One of the quarantine apartment has had a bit of a situation. Nothing major, just a fire that burned the whole place down. Everybody died. Yes, everybody. A representative of the water company is here with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? Yes, my deepest condolences to the family members of the deceased. This apartment was the most definitely not a wholly mismanaged mess, better burned to the ground. Wholly, not wholly. Okay, whatever. Therefore, it is so sad that this happened. To ease the sadness, we recommend you try Toxic Soda. We just roll out here three new and exciting flavors. Excuse me, sir, something seems to be going wrong with your microphone. I'm sure you meant to say to drink our trustly bubbly poly, poply, which happens to be our sponsor. And it doesn't even make your organs bleed out of your ass, unlike some alternatives. Anyway, that was all for now. Tune in again later for more wholesome news to cheer up your day. That was wholesome. That was our apartment, wasn't it? Was being the current tense indeed. Did I leave the oven on? It said everybody died. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Huh? They must think we died too. And all the evidence of our... Uh, I forgot how to say this word. Escapades? <laughs> Escapades, there we go. <laughs> of our escapades, let's say, has been incinerated. I wonder about that. <laughs> I told you it all work out. That still leave us, leaves us harmless and just about penniless. Whatever, things are clearly going to sort themselves out. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. I'm gonna stay a bit up longer. Maybe the late new, the late night news will have more information on the fire. Suit yourself. Uh, which bed do you think it's gonna be hers? The tidy one the or the clean and tidy one? Let's see if that's true. There's no pillow. Why is there no? Wait, there's two pillows on the one bed. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. As usual, you follow. You see, it was your bed, the the one that was not cleaned. As usual, but you fall asleep you without a care in the world. I'm not sure why there's two pillows on your bed. Oh, nightmare mode? Uh -oh. Someone has entered the room. <gasps> Did that guy just fucking kill? Oh, it was stream. <laughs> James. That's how I feel. Okay. Too. Wake up! We gotta go! Huh? Get up, I had a vision. We're about to get killed. We've gotta go now. Just just like what about the clothes that we were cleaning? Okay, no, we 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 can grab nothing! So we just need to freaking hurry up and go? Okay. Run. Run. Where? 
Oh, got him. Can I take this car? Or this one? Or the other one? Nope. No. Just go back here then? Oh, there you go. So, want to stay here and see if the killer actually shows up? And what did I do to deserve to get murdered in my sleep for anyway? Might, might be a bit risky to stay in here. Do you know, um, do you know which direction they came from, right? Assuming anyone shows up anyway. They will, I'm sure. And so you stand there and wait. And wait. And wait. Andrew lights up his fourth cigarette. Another one? Way to blow money. Blow it in blow it out your ass. I'm bored and cold. You're probably cold because that crap messes with your blood circulation. Okay, mom. Makes you important too, by the way. Or imp impotent. It doesn't sound like I'd be meeting any girls anytime soon anyway. What's stopping you? Hmm. Ah, I said it. I said enough. Quiet, you. I thought we were hiding. Hmm. Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy you were expecting to come slit your throat. But he sure looked familiar anyway. Didn't we eat that guy? D don't say that out loud. Oh, sorry. Didn't we chop that guy up and store him in our freezer? Ashley, come on. I mean, Sumi, come on. <laughs> Seriously, though. I guess there's more where he came from. What do you suppose he was off to? Why, a sex and drugs party with demons? Duh. Why are you asking me? Whatever. Shall we follow him? But I'm trying to see if my visions come true or not. It's not like we both have to be there. Here. You really don't want to stand here alone in the middle of the night. But you're also curious about what the cultists look like sub too. Ah, uh, fine. You go. But come back soon. You are Pepe. Oh, so we're gonna be playing as Pepe now. And we're gonna be following that creepy dude. So let's go. He went up here. I think. <gasps> what the f Wait. Hold the doors, please. Run, sucker, run. The elevator leaves before the third cultist can board. Ha 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 ha. Curse you brats. Okay, okay. Nobody saw me. Nobody saw me. Can I check this garbage can? Mix it waste. Bio waste. Maybe you'll start eating out of here once your money runs out. No, I don't think so. Stuff only, it says, and it's locked. Can I check something else? Recycling point that seems to double as a smoking area. Garbage recycling, apparently it'll prove by the devil if the graffiti on the walls is anything to go by. So, am I just supposed to go down? Uh, it's asking for a pause cut. Oh well, whatever, nothing happens. I need to find something. Unemployment office, number one blank, minus one club six FU. Wait, is it 666, the passcode? Let's try that. <laughs> Probably fucking funny for what? Fucking it oh was. <laughs> of course. I don't know why I am entertained the idea of being anything else. Of it being anything else. You have rape? Oh shit. I'm dead. Oh, oh what? Who let you in? Sorry, was I not supposed to be here? This is a private event. Shoo shoo. Uh, I got two choices. <laughs> Sorry, I got lost. Is this the sex and demons party? 
I'm gonna go with the sex and demons part because yeah. sorry I got lost. It's not gonna cut it. Isn't this the demon sex party? Why? I hope not. My wife will kill me. What the hell are you talking about? There's not such thing. I do have a wife. <laughs> no, there's no demon sex party. Oh well, just real art demon summoning then? I mean, that that's what I was told, but... Listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed properly. Right, uh, sorry, I didn't know there was a dress code. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go kick rocks. Alright, I'll go. No harm done. Can't believe this. They literally invite anyone these days, huh? That just means Six Eyes is getting popular. We should be glad. So, I'm guessing our neighbor was part of this guy's little club. We're pretty far from home, though. Maybe they gather at multiple locations? Can this guy actually summon demons, though? I mean, our neighbor managed it eventually, but... You decide you should get inside somehow and find out. So I'm just trying to go back inside, but I don't have anything. What do I care what those clones are up to anyway? You say that if a way forward doesn't strike you before you're done with your smoke, you'll just call it wits. And then, just as you're putting your smoke out, there's a key under the cigarette butt jar. Got the employee key! Okay, I'm striking the right buttons then. Let's go here. Uh, seems like a kitchen. Dravid set of drapery you have ever laid your eyes on. There's crumpled note in the trash. It reads, Stop eating my lunch, you animals. <laughs> Someone has left a note. It reads, To whoever ate my casserole, I will have your head on a plate. <laughs> ah, the office life. Same shit, different toilet. The top layer is full of cake. Lower has some paper cups. It's the same for this one? Kind of party? Yeah, on the cards, on the cards it's plates full of cakes. And coffee dispensers. What's with the cakes? It's a bit late for a work meeting. Oh, 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 shit, oh, shit. The elevator is coming up. I need to hide. I need. Oh, the drapes! The drapes! The drapes! Just go in! You stupid ass! What am I supposed to do? What am I gonna hide? Do I just go out? Oh fuck. I'm done. Um This is going to take two trips. Rumbling as he Can goes, the cultist takes one of the cards down the alewear with him. Okay, I think I need to somehow He pulled down one of the curtains. Got curtain. How's that gonna help me? <laughs> Remove paper cups from the card. You grab yourself in the ah. curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside the card. Okay, so that's how I'm going down. Hmm. Hmm. The cultist hastily shoves a piece of cape into his mouth. Oh, Dark Lord. This is good. He carts you into the elevator. Why is this card so much heavier than the others? <clears throat> Could it be the weight of my sins? No! Okay, okay, be cool. No one has to know. Maybe it's between me and the devil. Just act normal. Did I miss it? Shh! I can't see anything from here. Ahem! <coughs> Well then, everybody! The riddle's all set up. No, I know you're all excited about free coffee, but first things first. All together now. Show yourself, Lord Unknown! This is such fun. Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown. The cultists keep calling for Lord Unknown for a while. 
but it's becoming increasingly clear nothing is going to show up. Look at this amateur hour. My Sumi summoned something on her first try. Though that's probably not a good thing, is it? <laughs> I feel Larno now in his with us today, but only in spirit. Hmm. I I brought the cards down, but someone stole one of the cakes. I don't know who. Oh, can we have some now? Huh. Yes, please enjoy yourselves. Oh, they saw me. Where are your robes? Um, sorry, the thing is, I spilled some coffee on them. <laughs> Idiot. Ah, oh, he just went like that? Okay, now that I've got your answers, you miss Sumi. What? I think I did not read that, okay. Um, I guess I'm just gonna speak with these guys. Should be fine to take two pieces, right? Look, look how many they are. He's too busy eating cake with her. Whoa, someone is undressed. I'm not. This sheep has to suffer milk for the coffee instead of cream. Also, the birthday shell tastes like this. Wait, it's not that I ever drank this. Well, say something. <laughs> say nothing. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna judge. Whatever. Wait, is <laughs> is actually milk worse than cream on coffee? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm on stage. It's like I'm famous. Is that it? Is that actually it? Shall I There's go up? A party. Yeah. I, th I think I should go up with where the other dude is. No service right now. Yeah, it was kind of a gathering of people that adore the Lord. No, I cannot go up. What the hell? Maybe I need to do something with the music? She has begun singing. Oh, it was a she. People are staring. Time to get out of here. Can you go up now, please? Free, please? I can't go up. What am I supposed to do? Oh, there we go. Ah. Uh, hey, didn't we already tell you to beat it? Oh, are they done? How did the summoning go? No. Look, man, you're running the whole bag with that get up. You, you, you can come here dressed like this again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Shame on me. I'll leave right away. Mm, good. Just don't let this happen again. Have a good night. Oh, they're polite. Yeah, they're actually really nice. What the hell? What the hell? Okay, the, the other dude was in here, right? Uh, but he's gone now. Okay, so I guess I'm just going back with Sumi. <laughs> there she is. Yeah. Hey, Sums. Are you done snooping on the cultists? Yeah, so there's apparently a little cultist club where they all gather around for some demons and treats. But they can summon for shit. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on this end either. I don't under. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> You're good. I don't understand. It was a vision for sure. There was like. You hear a car. Oh, it, it's, it's that's that's him. That's the guy who slit our throats in my dream. Yikes! He really just went in our room just like that. You still doubted me? Where did he get the key? Should we just leave? We're supposed to vacate the room in the morning anyway. Our stuff is still in there. What stuff? We sold off most of the junk we were hoarding. And I can live without the trash and laundry. Well, like someone pointed out, we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. 
I am not risking my life getting in there to rescue your socks. It's my better brawl, actually. This new one sucks. Still not interested. In fact, I'm somehow even less inclined now. <sighs> you know nothing of my troubles. Regardless, I think we have to kill that guy, though. This is no random... Ver <laughs> there you go! You can do it! <laughs> You can do it, Sumi. You can do it. Burgery. 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 Seriously. Girl bossing. Bird. She's just having troubles. Burglary. 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 Let's leave it at that. Burglary. Oh God. Okay. He specifically, he's specifically after us for whatever reason. Like somehow he tracked us down. So even if we run away now, won't he keep coming after us? That's not wrong, but... Ugh. And why is he still in the room? We're not even in there. Well, if I was him, I'd fear we were out getting food or something. So now he's probably waiting to kill us upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants to go about this quietly. Hmm. Hmm. He's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting, or f waiting for us to get. Uh, oh God, waiting for us to go back to sleep. Then he'll kill us at our sleep, just like in my vision again. And you know this how? I know, because that's what I do. Duh. Plus, he's using a knife, so there's that. So, so there. <laughs> go with it, go with it. Mm, uh, listen, and Oh, God. Listen, Pepe. Just trust me. I've thought these things through. You, you question not why she's true. She, you question not why she's thought about such things. No, enough dilly-dallying. Let's get in there and pretend we forgot something. Then we'll lure him somewhere less conspicuous. And then what? You have to ask. Huh. So we're gonna commit murder once again. again. Oh wait, you know what? Give me just one quick second because the freaking translation thing stopped working so I'm just gonna shoot it off. There we go. Shut up. Okay, let's murder! Murder. Alright, leave this to me. Obviously. This has to go to be the stupidest thing we've done so far. Personally, I think shooting fireworks indoors was dumber. But hey, opinions. Wish, I may add, was also your idea. I was 12! You should have stopped me! So, should I talk you out of this one, or...? No, shut up and follow my lead. You see, she's the brains behind all of this. Now I'm Sumi. No one has stepped forward to kill you yet. Oh gosh, jolly. Pepe, I just realized our Importano night walk to the <laughs> what? has left me parched. <laughs> impromptu. Impromptu. Importano? <laughs> I told you words are so awful oh. for me right now. <laughs> okay, impromptu. Is that so? Let's return to the gas stop at once. And since we want to be oh so quick about it, let's take a shortcut through the park. Where we may frolic amongst the, f the foliage shielded from sight. Uh. How's that sound, huh? Terrific. Let's go. 
Not so fast. Let me grab my things first. I just realized that I don't trust the staff here. Given that you're about to roam about with a hitman around, would you like to save the game? Oh yeah, I will. <laughs> here. Wait, my stuff? Uh, I mean, I'm Sumi, so my stuff is definitely on the freaking... Oh wait, no, on the laundry thingy, right? Got washed laundry. Yeah, there we go. That should be about it. What about food? No, no food. And I don't want to open this thing right here because the killer is right there. Or maybe he's under the bed? I'm not sure. Let's just go. Holding the door open for me, are we? What a gentleman. You're letting in some fresh air on the sounds of the city. Hurry up and get your things ready. I already did. Mm -mm. Okay, so now we're going through the park. Which is this way, I guess. To catch a killer in the park. Yeah, uh, but we're supposed to be hiding somewhere, so... Is she coming after us or not? I don't know. I thought he would. Let's pick a corner we can ambush him from. What corner? It's sell bushes. There's a card in here. An evident shopping cart. Very classy. Wait, that's it? Okay, we need to... Let, I'm gonna do as I do and click everything. Oh, there we go. Here! This tree will hide us nicely. What are you going to do if he just stays at the motel? Well, I guess we'll just leave them. We'll grow eyes in the back of our heads and keep watching, uh, wait, and keep watching over our shoulders at all times. What a pain. I can't believe I'm actually hoping he'd show up now. Good. Don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. And on that note... Not it! Hmm? You're making me do it again? Dude only has a knife. You've got this. Ah, uh, I hear footsteps, I think. Sumi, wait. I've never fired a gun. Crap, I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. You can ambush a killer that's waiting to ambush you. And you can very well start looking for him either. Not without letting him know that you know he's here. Crap. Did we whisper too loudly? Is he on to us? Why'd he stop? To see what we're up to. Betty Sal looks suspicious as hell. This doesn't look anything. This doesn't look like anything. He shouldn't even be able to see us from behind this. An idea hits you then. Ooh, you dirty boy! No, we can't do it here. Huh? <laughs> Off I go! Come and find me! I don't want to. So, Monsieur Lee, I don't know how this thing works. No peeking! And I'm Pepe now. Hide and seek. I'm Pepe. <laughs> hide and seek. Hide and seek time. Time has come to play hide and seek with a killer and sue me. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna get so murder in here. <laughs> there are some bugs in bush, but not much else. Oh god, it's just you. What are you doing, you absolute... Shh, you didn't find me. Keep looking. Do you want to die? What if he sneaks up on you or... Shoo, shoo, leave. Nothing. There he is, shoot or no... Whoa, whoa, shoot, shoot, shoot the fucking thing. Did... Is he dead? Nice work. Ashley reclaims her gun. 
Sumi, sorry. Dude, you emptied the whole thing. I panicked. This thing is useless now. Well, I mean, no one knows it's empty. <sighs> I guess so. Did they sell bullets to just anyone? Or do you need a license or something? I have no idea. Sorry, Sumi. Although I wouldn't have wasted them all if you hadn't made me shoot him. Are we still playing the finger-pointing game? I thought we agreed to leave that behind. Let's just get out of here before someone sees us. Oh, yeah, yeah. What about... What the fuck was that? What was what? You're running out of the blue. What? You needed an excuse to start rummaging through these through the bushes. Now that the hitman thought you were looking for me, he sat there waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun and would kill him instead. I am a bloody genius. And what if he was in the bush you ran off to, huh? Genius? Well, he wasn't. <sighs> Quit your bitching. It all worked out. Clue me, in the, clue me in the next time you have these genius ideas. So that I can tell you off. <laughs> You're now Sumi. I'm Sumi yeah. now. So are, can, can we just go back to the hotel now or... We just keep. I'm not sure where we are. Okay. I guess we go back to the hotel. No, wait. Can we check on him? Maybe he has stuff. Do we just leave him here? Why not? As long as no one saw us do it, who's going to have a clue it was us? Hell, this guy carries knives with him. He's clearly a criminal. Maybe the authorities will assume his friends got to him or something. You're the optimist. Whatever. Let's just go before someone comes to walk their dog or something. Got car keys. Oh, we got a car! Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. Leave those fingerprints all over the guy. That's just great. I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't matter since you've never gotten your fingerprints taken. Have you? Yeah. Ah, motherfucker. What for? My driver's license. Well, good thing it's me manhandling this corpse then. Great dead hitman. Okay, so we have a car now. We can go play... Wait, what? An attempt or several has been made to place the trash where it belongs. So close. They were all so close, but couldn't quite stick the landing. <laughs> Is this car right? Yeah. Ooh. All right, let's see if this guy has anything interesting in his car. So much for not leaving fingerprints. It's a little late to worry about that. You've already touched the door, the handle, the wheel. It's fine if it's me, right? Wait, did... No, I want to go in. Oh, shit. I keep going out. We need to check. Uh, there's an envelope with various papers inside. The most notable one reads... Dear Mr. Washing Machine, consider this a receipt for your cleaning services. We're extremely grateful that you've accepted to clean our laundry for us. And we're so confident in your services that we will not be needing any progress reports. In fact, please do not contact us. If anyone were to ask, the less we know, the better. As a bonus, we've included free samples of all the new soda flavors from our sister company. Happy washing! Uh, are we the laundry? Seems that way. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, there's there's some more stuff in the back. Take the car and go. Oh, not yet. There's stuff in the back of the car. 
newspaper cutouts of various incidents. Most of them are about your old apartment, both the tainted water and the fire situation. There is also an article from last week about some chemical leak in some other city. Someone has scribbled the words, same shit, on the corner. Mediate mindeth mindlessly sits on top of the car seat. Okay, I guess that's it. Now we can drive! But let's fucking go. Take the car and go. Broom broom, motherfucker! So, where to? Um, could you elaborate? We're off to somewhere, right? We've got the car and everything now. This isn't exactly the best situation to go joyriding in a stolen car. We barely have enough money to feed us. Fine. Let's go take mom's... For fuck's sake, does everything I say go into one ear and out of the other? We're never going to talk to anyone we know ever again, remember? Did I say squat about talking to her? Let's go rob the bitch blind and leave. What money do you think she has exactly? I'm sure, I'm sure she's got something. I thought she inherited some jewelry from grandma. Well, yeah, but she can sell those. She can't, but I sure can. Hmm. No, we still can go over there. Why not? We've got pursuers or something. Our parents' place is finally something they've looked into. Listen, Pepe. Wrong. Pepe, the pursuer, is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you honestly think uh, you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire too? If anything, it seems they assume uh, that the guy took care of us, and that's that. But the thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. <sighs> we'll be quick. Get in there. Rob them, kill them, and get out. So now you want to kill your parents? Great. You just said we can't talk to them again anyway. So they might as well be dead. I'm way too tired for this. Fine, we'll just rob them. Break in while they're at work, get some money, and then get lost. I'll take it. Where do they live now, anyway? I know the place, but I don't remember the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah. Huh. The only thing she told me was to stop calling her. She probably figured I'd tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you did. To forgive me, Sumi. It didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever, just drive. I haven't driven a car in over two years. Will we be fine? Just don't distract me with anything. Okie dokie. Feet on the floor. My god, it's not even your car. Shut up and put your seatbelt on. Boo, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Now hurry up. I'll be goddamn if we get caught in a dead man's car just because we got pulled over for some stupid shit. Make me then. Huh? Do you or do you not want to go rob our parents? I said make me, Pepe. <sighs> okay, do what you want. If, it piss, if it's to piss me off, then you're nailing it right now. Oh, come on. It's just a joke. I know it's not a joke. I... Yeah, it is. You get so mad, it's just funny. Like, I don't know you, Sumi. You pulled this shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. You'll keep going, Pepe, Pepe, until I get tired of correcting you. And suddenly it's 
Pepe and Sumi and stupid bullshit all over again. Way to read into it. I was honestly just joking around. Well then it's not funny and you're going to stop. Nothing is funny to you anymore. Hmm. Well, are you going to drive or what? I just don't want us to get in trouble. But you don't have to be such a hard ass about it. I do though. And you're such a dumbass about it. Just drive. Are you angry? I'm looking out for us. Fucking drive, Pepe! Drive, Pepe. And so he does. Finally. And you decide to give Pepe the silent treatment until he apol- <laughs> For what?! <laughs> the fuck?! <laughs> You're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly? But you won't forgive him until he does. What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with her? <laughs> so while you wait for him to notice you're not talking to him, you fall asleep. Oh god. Oh, what the? You're pretty sure you're dreaming. But at the same time, you feel wide awake. Wait. I need to follow the path. Okay. <laughs> Wait, do I... Okay, um... So? Huh? What? Who's there? Where are you? And where am I? Is this another vision or what? There's no response. Do I just follow the path? There's nothing to step on. What am I supposed to do then? Can I just go back? Oh, wait, wait, what? Picked up red flowers. Why will I need red flowers? Um... What am I supposed to do? Threw down some... Oh, okay. It's making a path. So, every time I need to make a path, I need red flowers. I'm not sure how many I have, though. I need to go down here. I know that for sure. There's nothing to step on, so we need to find more red flowers. Our soul. Simon you to can tune in. What? You're all muffled, I can't hear anything. The boys continue stacking, but you can make heads or tails of it. Ah, uh, whatever. I should just focus on getting out of here anyway. Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm up here. I need more red flowers. More flowers. Okay, this just brings me back, right? Yeah, okay, let's go to the right. Wait! I'm uh -huh. just I'm just going in circles here. Where, where can Yeah, I'm just going in circles. This takes me up here. This brings me down here. What the crap? <laughs> Dude, how am I supposed to do this? Um, there's some flowers. Wait, what? I'm, I'm. What am I supposed to do now? Okay, let's try going all the way back. Wait, can we actually make a path? No, we can't, right? There's nothing to step on. We need more flowers. Fuck! Where am I? Everything looks the same. Oh, we got red flowers. There we go. I'm not sure how I did that, though. Oh, God, I'm so lost. What am I supposed to... Okay, there we go. I guess we need to go down. 
There we go. Hey there, Naz. Uh, well, you just avoided piling down into an eternal void. Lucky. <laughs> ah, it's you. I summoned you before, right? Human, keep calm. Where am I? In a dream. I called you here. Well, can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. It doesn't even occur to you that you should be afraid of this soul-stealing creature. creature. I have summoned you in to make a deal. Great, but I can't do this now. What if Pepe tries to talk to me? He needs mm -hmm. to know I'm deliberately ignoring him instead of being in a coma or something. <laughs> Damn it. You okay? Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Hey, I fixed my mic in record yeah, time. Good job, good job. The demon couldn't care less about the lover's spat you're having with your brother? Well, that's twisted. It carries on as if you hadn't said a thing. You've used my gift. What? Was it useful? Seeing the future? Ah, yes. The trinket you gave me. It's been very useful. Thank you. Then, do you want to see the future again? Sure. I just have to keep holding on to it, right? It is out of energy. I'm able to recharge it. Do you want to make a deal? Of course you do. Never has it even been a bad idea to make deals with the devil. Let's hear it then. What do you want? Human souls. Well, you're not getting mine, so if that was it, then... Not yours. Thar soul. Is that like an insult, or... Who is then? Just anybody's? And why don't you go get some souls yourself? I cannot enter the human realm on summon, like you cannot enter here. I'm able to reach you only because of my talisman. But even then, one can only interact between realms through it deals. Do we have a deal? I don't really get it, but I can't say I'm all that interested either. Listen, I really need to get back to my brother. If I offer you a soul, you'll make my talisman trinket dream thing work again, right? Correct. Sounds good. I do have a soul or two in mind, actually. But I'll see what uh, Pepe has to say about it. He's kind of... I don't know. Something is shifting. I don't really like it. The demon says nothing to that. Pearl wasn't the right entity to talk to about this. <laughs> I will be waiting. <laughs> uh, right. All right. I'll see what I can do. So, how do I wake up? You wake up once your mind returns home. Huh? Farewell, dark soul. The entity has left. And I'm still here. What the fuck? Okay, there's flowers. It's like you're on hey, Nasmul, what game is this? This is The Coughing of Andy and Lily. Lily or Lele? Lele? Lily? Lele? Not sure. It might be, might be Le, Le. Lele. Lele? Lele? Le I don't know. I was saying Lele. Hey, we Wait. got ourselves a flower. There's not. Oh my god, I need two of them. Lily? Lily? We need more no, flowers. Le Lele. Lele. <laughs> Lele. Where the fuck am I? Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, there's two doors. 
This door is decorated with red flowers. Enter. Nah. And this one. With eyes. So we take the flower one or the eyes one? Uh, I'm, I'm inclining towards the flower one because it seems less less offensive. So... Let's go there. Oh shit, I'm back. God damn it. <laughs> hey, there's a present. I want to grab the present. I want to grab the present. Give me the present. Okay, let's grab all of the flowers and let's go down here. Wait, what? Okay, we need to go down. And then over here. Fuck off. Oh. There's still more? I thought this way would take me home. And good God, I am so sick of these fucking flowers. Let's pick them all up. Oh no, you're not picking them up. Oh my God, what the fuck is that? What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Oh, I know. Let's, no. let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. Bad yep. idea let's go. Let's go. There's I no escaping. So what am I supposed to do? Just take the flowers? Oh. Ah. Sumi? Pepe, is that you? Help! Get me out of this shithole! Come on, wake up, it's not funny. I'm trying, jackass! Do something, help me! Huh? I'm sorry, it's you. Oh, thank god. I was a hair away from taking you to the hospital. Huh? Why? That would screw us, us over, wouldn't it? You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. God, Sumi, don't scare me like that. <sighs> what time is it? Like 10 in the morning or something? I don't that she'll be at work right now. So, whatever you're ready, I guess... You're only being nice now because you treated me like shit last night. I treated you the way you deserve to be treated. Or actually, no. Scratch that. Considering you keep pushing me around all day, I think it was pretty fucking lenient with you. Hmm. So anyway, this episode is titled Pepe and Sumis and the Home Sweet Home Invasion. What kind of knockoff cash grab show is that? I'm not interested. Well, it's definitely all about cash grabbing. <laughs> I'm boo. No, thank you. Nah, I saw that. You're into it. Let's go. No, it sucks. <laughs> but I'm so nice that I'll roll with it for now. Why on earth are we at some park? Free parking, that's why. Mom and Dad live somewhere down the slope. Hey, there's ice cream! Ooh. It's an ice cream shop, it's close, god damn it. Of course, of course. This can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. Nah, no, it's gotta be this. She did sound happy when she talked about their new place, though. What's her last name, anyway? What do you mean, what's her last name? The name plays the doors? Did they go with Dad's name or Mom's? Dad's name, right? How will they change, change that at this point? I don't know. To throw us off? She really make it sound like they don't want us to find them. Just a feeling I got. Hmm. Well, whatever. Let's find the house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. Grayson... Smiths? Ugly band Mac... Mac... Mac videos? 
Uh, Shitter sounds. These are some oh, amazing wow. names. Yeah, that, that's how. Last names. Uh. <clears throat> Here we go. Don't just knock. No one comes to open the door. All right, all good. Whatever. Let's just find a way in. Through here, maybe. Oh, the back door. Oh, come on. Look at this place. They've got a garden and everything. Doesn't matter. We'll fill our pockets and go. I want to pick the stick. Pick I want to stick. pick the stick. <laughs> I can't pick the stick. God damn it. Here grows some pallet. pallet Pal table potatoes. Here grows some scrumptious carrots. I wanted the stick. God damn it. Why are they living such a luxurious life? And we are we were uh sent to dead on that crappy apartment. Yeah. Um I think we need to grow broke in but with a stone. Some surprising heavy rocks. I think we need one of those. Hey, that thing is open right there. Oh, I think the window was open. Can you reach it? Nope. That's that's it? Can <laughs> should we at least try? God damn it. Yeah, right. Boost each other up or something. A stick. Yeah, use the stick. Wait, can we go all the way back? No. What am I supposed to do? Got a wooden plank. Okay, there we go. Ah, it's still too high. Lift me up. Well? Ugh, no good. It's open, but held in place by a latch that's on the other side of the window. Damn it. My fingers can't reach to unhook it. Ah, uh, this is where the stick comes in handy. Let's grab this stick and do it again. Let's see, let's see. Aha! And you, uh, Pepe helps you climb through the now open window. Give me your hand, I'll pull you up. Thanks, but I'd much rather just open the door for me. Oh, yeah, that would be easier. Renovations are afoot. There's no water inside the toilet bowl. I recommend you not to try to use this one. Oh, this is a nice place. Yeah. What a nice place. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> not so fast. Hmm. Now, what do we say? Thank you very much. Wrong. Try again. Mm. Exceptionally well done. That was an earth shattering performance. Yes. I think you'd open a door so swiftly and with such grace. Stunning, marvelous, breathtaking. These are but a few words I'd use to describe your ability to trespass. May I come in now? You may. Great. Then let's split up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, hey. There was something I was wondering about. By now? Can it wait? Our situation is kind of time sensitive. Well, it can, I guess. Good. Then tell me later. Hmm. Uh, we need to grab everything we can. So let's go and click on everything. Money! <laughs> Money! There's not much in the fridge right now. I wanted food. Fitting board. Uh, the pot is empty. Cooking book. There's nothing here. There's there's a couple of stairs, but not, not useful. Let's watch TV. No, not the time. Oh, I'm back. Son of a bitch. Okay. Oh, there's the stairs in here. Wait, they live in the oh, basement? Okay. Parents have lived here for only a few months. Why do they live in the basement? 
Yet they've some somehow managed to hoard all this stuff and spare bed to vote. Money is clearly no longer an issue. At, and the extra bed implies there are no issues in their social life either. Mm. Christmas stuff. Decorations. And lay some documents about purchasing a house. There's also a key. Got the dresser key, okay, that's good. Like the tell out there, this one actually works. The floor drain seems a little clogged. It's not your problem. Quality mop. Dirty laundry. Right at the top sits some sexy lingerie. Okay, they don't have issues right now. That's good to know. Cleaning supplies such as vinegar. Which when are we going to kill them? Uh, they're not even here. I don't think we're going to kill them. Leaving it up. Damn it. Why do you want to kill them? Because <laughs> <laughs> they're it's, fucking terrible. It's the phone. Your mother never calls you with. Okay, have yeah, a, mom I, never calls. Yeah, have a key to a dresser. Ah, you found the key. Nice. What's in there? There's no sight of any jewelry. We just bought some paperwork. It reads, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Graves, You have opted in for compensation for damages caused by our company's error. Our representative will be glad to meet you with will be glad to meet with you. Please come discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Flipping through the folder, something else catches your eye. It's the death certificate of Ash F. Sumi and Pepe Graves. <gasps> huh? Huh? I didn't know we died three months ago. <laughs> what the hell is this? I guess that explains why mom kept telling me not to call. It must have been spooky getting calls from a ghost. That's... Someone has entered the house. Oh, oh shit. Time. Isn't this too early? They should not be home yet. It's a shame that you wasted all our bullets. We, we should anyway. Someone there? Oh, no. It's a mom. It's your, it's your line. Oh, no. <laughs> Is someone there? Hi, mom. It's just us. Oh my god, why did he go out there? Welcome home. Uh, Andrew? What are you doing here? Surprise, we came for a visit. Oh, I see. How, how are you home so early? Did you get fired? It's my day off. I was just out shopping. How did you two get inside? You left the door unlocked. You should really be more careful about that. Did I really? Here, let me help you with those groceries. Thanks. You should have let me know you were coming. How about some coffee? Where do you keep the grounds? In the top cupboard. But what about the quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure. Uh, let me just wash my face. What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please. Guess I'll make some coffee. Uh, where was the kitchen? Up here. No, goddammit, it was down here. <laughs> He's putting away groceries. Where's the coffee thingy? Oh, right here. You brew some coffee. So I saw the fire on the news. What happened? What do you care? Well, <laughs> first we got evacuated. After that, they gave us the go ahead to leave. Since we've been cleared of the parasites anyway. Huh. Interesting. On the news, they said everyone died. <laughs> that will certainly make the story sell more. Anyway, uh, here we are now. Neither burned nor full of parasites. 
I'm just glad you're safe. Yeah, you sure look like it. So, um, quite the upgrade from our previous place, huh? Where did you get the money for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? Huh, I wish. This house needs some serious repairs, but the area is so worth it, don't you think? The perfect non answer. They even hold barbecue events here with the neighbors. Barbecue events, just like on TV. I thought that was all bullshit, but no, they actually do that stuff here. And just stick out like a sword farm. You'd be surprised. I'm actually quite well liked. Though it's probably all thanks to my cooking skills. It's a shame or Sumi didn't inherit any. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> the rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it because you can't keep up with Sumi's lies. And if you're being honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. Well, it was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home soon, so I really need to start making some dinner. Oh no, don't worry about it, I'll make something. You know, full well that was her way of telling you to get lost. Um, oh boy, I can't wait to hear how that has been. He must have all kinds of stories about preparing this place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix us something. <sighs> I'll take you up on that. Thank you. Mother leaves. Okay, I'm Pepe now. Let's go, Pepe. Somehow your burglar... God fucking damn it. <laughs> Somehow your burglary of them ended up with you <laughs> cooking your victim's dinner. Go ahead then. Make something. You smooth talker, you. Oh, thank you. Okay, I need grocers first. So I'm gonna take something here. Make something out of that if you knew what. So, cutting board. You have nothing. So what the fuck am I supposed to do then? Wait, uh, there's meat in the fridge. Got it? Steam it? Dude, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Can I take anything? Kitchen knives? Dude. Oh, the cooking book. Okay. Uh, for some recipes. There we go. What? I got this. You can go do... You can go do whatever. I'm alright. What is it? It's nothing. Struck with an odd urge to pull this brothy bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. But you push <laughs> such an idea to be back of your to the back of your mind. But it may fester with all other thoughts you wish you never had. That way, you let her however hover over you for now. On a simple soup recipe. You need meat, carrots, potatoes, and onions. And we have all of those. Chop everything up and boil it up in a pot. We need the meat first, which is here. Then the carrots, onions, and thingies are all the way on the back. You see, I remember things. Well, not on the back, down here. So we take some of those. Some of those. How nice that our parents had all these fresh ingredients while we languished in our apartments. Oh, really makes one appreciate just how much they love us. Come on. We'll get ours. Just have to figure out how to go about this now that she's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Let's not jump to that just yet. I fucking knew it. Please just let me think. I'll figure out something, alright? I get the feeling she has something more to say. But you can't tell whatever it is. It's going to start with an argument. So you leave it be for now. Got carrots. And got onions. What's wrong with us? Uh, you, you're so evil. So fucking evil. 
Every single thing is... Ah, yeah, let's just kill them. That's the way of handling things. Just curious. Did you just use the cultist cleaver to cut up all the ingredients? <laughs> yeah, why? I hope you washed it first. I've kept clean, obviously. Anyway, that should be all the ingredients. So let's just cook them up. Alright. You can't take this anymore. Sumi, I can tell something's up. Speed it out. I have something to tell you. But first, you have to promise you'll agree. I will absolutely not promise that. Okay then, never mind. Stop being annoying. What is it? You're gonna be such a bitch about it. I really wanted you to come to this conclusion by yourself. But since you won't, let me spell it out for you. We have to kill mom and dad. <sighs> no, no, none of that. I actually need their souls to recharge the clairvoyance stream thingy. Do you really? Or are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you'd mention this now of all the times. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Let me think about this. What's there to think about? Hey kids, it's good to see you. Says that with all the enthusiasm of a dead fish. <laughs> One extremely tiresome dinner later. Huh. That was a riveting conversation. What did we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry kids. I'm exhausted from work. I'm heading straight to bed. Could you two clean up? She leaves without waiting for an answer. Hmm. Ah, we actually need to clean up? What the fuck? <laughs> She's like, yes, clean, clean the house. Can be done. <clears throat> the dishes, the robbing, or the killing? Robbing nor killing. The more I think about it, the less doable this is. Fix one report to the authorities to put us under radar. And if anything happens to our parents, who do you reckon are the prime suspects? Well, surely not their two dead kids. But were those documents even official? Well, even then, surely the, the poor grave siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly we've now... And suddenly we've not only altered them, we're alive, but also reveal our recent whereabouts. We're better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. And what makes you so sure this bitch won't snitch on us anyway? Seems to me she already sold us off once before. I mean, assuming she's believed me earlier, there'd be no reason for her to do anything. She's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. I fucking knew it! I knew it! I knew it! What? You're all about being so careful. But when push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand. Hell, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play happy family some more? Bet you like that, huh? You seem to get along so nice. You know, I'm only keeping up appearances, right? I'm so she. Felt to me... Well, you know. Uh, felt to me it was the same as ever. Sumi, are you kidding me? Okay, listen, I chose you, didn't I? I chose you. So if anyone's playing happy family here, it's you and me. So you're saying you're not happy? Not that I didn't know that already. Fuck off with that. That's not what I said. If you keep your end of the agreement, everything will be just peachy. 
I've been behaving. No, you haven't. But that's not what I'm talking about anyway. I agreed to behave, and you agreed as just us now. Funny. Because I remember agreeing to bury Pepe and Sumi. That is funny. I think you're misremembering. I'm not. Because it's not the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. What? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with mommy and daddy and be a good little murder boy? Why don't you leave me to rot? Clearly you don't even like me. You're the one who doesn't like me. It's all about Pepe with you. Well, guess what? Pepe is dead. You're right. I really don't like Pepe. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Pepe is all you get. It, it, no, it's not the time for this anyway. Just Let's just leave. I'll figure out what we'll do with the money and the trinket. If we're leaving anyway, with the trinket charged, we'll at least have the means to stay safe. I get that, but if we'll leave quietly, there'll be no need for anyone to look for us. Pepe, I don't believe for a second that woman can keep her mouth shut without being dead. Oh, fuck, she's hearing us. Ahem. <clears throat> what are you whispering about? Nothing. Did you need something? Just like peas in a pod. Hmm? I don't suppose you've gotten any friends you could go stay with. Oh. There isn't enough space in this house. Despite it being far larger than the one than the last one. And you're both already in your twenties. I don't know how else to say it. No no no, it's um Yeah. We're not fucking planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation though. It's not like you're unwelcome to visit. There's just no room to keep housing you indefinitely. Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. And it should probably be two separate places. <laughs> oh that's a tall order after all our earthly possessions just burn to the ground. It's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. Pepe, you can take the couch. Alright, good night. Good night. Well, aren't you going to bed? I'm not that tired yet, so... You're under my roof right now, and you will <laughs> go to your designated sleeping areas immediately. Damn. Huh? Sleep now, or get out at once. <laughs> oh, God. You pretend to go to bed until your parents fell asleep. Going to Good. sleep is the worst. During the day, all the noise and Sumi's never-ending bullshit keeps your mind occupied. But at night, along with your thoughts, there's nothing to distract you from yourself. Despite having every intention of going to pick a fight with Sumi, you drift off to sleep. Oh shit, now I'm in the freaking... Wait, 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 what? He? This prison is full of... isn't full of human meat. You're dreaming. Okay, I can go nowhere but the fridge. Greetings, neighbor. Have to arrive to borrow sweet granules of sugar. Behold, as you, you may witness, not but flesh that I possess to present unto thee. All ghosts are apparently wired to speak like this, yes, even the recently passed ones. Through it too much poetry, be alert, 
young Mr. Graves. It's time for you to compartmentalize. What? What else do you? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Grab the things? I, I, I can't. Where should I go? Oh, there we go. The pan is empty. Alright, so me already cooked the one. Wait, what? It's missing candles. Okay, we need to find candles somehow. No, holder is empty. Hello there. What are you doing here? Oh, it's Jung Sumi. Hi. Actually, no, don't answer. I don't care. Get lost. You're not supposed to exist anymore. Says who? You? Oh, there goes Lil Sumi's voice. You're not the boss of me, Pepe. Forget this. Ah, she's following me. She's following me. <laughs> Stop following me, you little shit. Ooh, let me get that. Sumi places a candle on the candle holder. Nothing happens. You're welcome. You see, you're like to light the candle. Oh, there's another thing now. Wait, what? Ah, oh, there we go. There's another candle right here. What the hell is that? Why noise? Even in your dreams, the entertainment sucks. So, what do you want to play today? Nothing. Go to bed. Boring! I don't care. Go to sleep and never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. Draw then. Just don't leave this spot. I can't draw without my coloring pencils. <sighs> well, if I nick myself, I can get red. This girl, really? <clears throat> I'll go. I'll get your pencils. Thanks, Pepe. You're the best. Okay, so we're gonna go back to that creepy dude right there, I guess. Hey, brother. Julia, is okay. Julia. Who the hell? You've been quiet. You've been quiet all day. What's up? No, it's nothing. Or, actually, I've been thinking about something a lot lately. But I don't know if I should bring it up. With that much build up, you kind of have to now. <laughs> Well, okay, but please don't get mad. When I ever once, when have I ever once raised my voice with her? You know, you can tell me anything. I, uh, talked to my sister about what you said the other day. And she agreed with me that maybe it's... Like, maybe it'd be better for Zumi to learn some independence. Even if... Just for her own sake, you know? And maybe for our sake, too? I think it'd just be nice if you could stay over more often. And not, like, always cut things short or cancel on me so much. Sorry. I'm not reprimanding you. I can't make her learn anything, though. Uh, no, but you could, like, you know, not always go when she asks. Your sister needs something. Wouldn't you go? Well, yes, but she only asks if she actually needs something. I suppose. Sorry. Maybe I should have said that. Or brought this up after all. No, no, it's fine. 
Yes, I'm still shocked up over what happened to your friend way back then. Sumi might not look, look like it, but I think it affected her a lot too. So that's probably why she is how she is. I really don't get that impression at all. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? Mother, mother, she's difficult in general. Sorry, I didn't catch that. <laughs> uh, no, nothing, go on. Anyway, I worry about something like that happening to her. Or happening to you. So, I can't let either of you out of my sight. <laughs> I'll be fine if you're with me. Will you tie your hair? Will you tie your hair up for me? Oh heck no! You pull on it again. <laughs> ah, but don't you know it's how boys show their love? Well, that's just awful. <laughs> Suppose she still lingers. It hasn't even been that long. Just kind of forgot about her with all the cows going on. Your ex lover's dormitory room. Hey, but there's crayons there. What the f What was that? <laughs> Got some color pencils. Dude. Oh, yes. Pencils. Little Zoomy. Your ex friend just cherries. You're pretty sure you won't be up there anymore. The trash full of letters, mostly dead threads. Dead threads? Fuck? You hope to find it here, pervert. I was just clicking on everything! <laughs> Wait, okay, so I got the colors. Now I'm going back to Little Sumi. Let's go back to Little Sumi. Yes! Thank you! What should I draw? I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas. Hmm, good call. Well, whatever. As a thank you, I'll give you a candle. Treat it carefully, as if it were me. I'm lighting it on fire. Not cool. That's flames for you. <laughs> Boo, you suck. Got a candle. So I'm gonna... Hey, wait, can I light it up here? Oh, no, 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 it's the last one. Okay. Right here. Place it and lit the candle. Well, that's not creepy. <laughs> I feel like this is his mind. Yeah, he's dreaming and there's a lot of dead dudes in here. Oh, it's okay. It's the ones we killed on episode one. Sumi will want it to kill this one anyway. You won't leave any witnesses after all. Still, you can comprehend why there was there hasn't been any mention of her on the news. Surely somehow found her before the fire burned the apartment down. Is there any investigation going on? Can this be linked back to you? Other than that, it does not bother you. What about these dead dudes right here? You call this one to protect Sumi. No regrets. Back when he and his buddies still feed you, this one was always leering at her. All right, there is no regret. There is one where you wish you've killed him slower. What about this other dude? This one you had to get before he got you. It worries you someone wanted you dead badly enough to hire this guy. So it's basically, yeah, his thoughts and dreams. Phone Sumi in the closet? There you are, you menace. Ta-da! I'm missing that limb you cooked. Here you have it. It's in your stomach, right? And mine. Are you gonna cut me up? Wait, what? Oh, shit. <laughs> Are you gonna <laughs> cut me out to get it? Uh, I'd rather not. What do you need for anyway? It's plenty of limbs right behind you. That's true. So do I got this guy's open or? <laughs> yep, got a severed limb.
Well met, young reps. Um, the possess the absent limb, yet it does not belong to me. Perchance, it is of little consequence to thee. What? The fuck am I supposed to do then? Go elsewhere? Can I go here? Place a limb in the freezer. There's a lack of human meat in the freezer. I just placed the thing in there. What the fuck do you want me to do? Okay, let's go back. Can I go the other ones? Mm, yeah. Got a limb. Wait, no, no, no. I need to go get that one. I want to get that one. Okay, I got this one as well. Hey, I'm such an amazing player. Got a limb. There we go. Thus to reckon that my mortal frame was consumed by the flames. For sod, I do not. Methinks the innards of a freezer do not combust. Perchance it may cook, but corn? I know it not. I have no idea what he's talking about. Really, the most foolish deed thou hast ever committed was to leave mine own remains in thine own dwelling. Praise the heavens that some souls sought to protect themselves and kindled a flame which engulfed all. He's talking about the fire in the building. I guess I need to put everything on the freezer now. Reminds you something. Oh, hello. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh my, we're back. Haha! <laughs> Rise and shine, Nina! <laughs> oh, we're back on the next day! Because we left her here all, here all night. Oh. Did you have a fun night? I sure hope you learned your lesson. There is no answer. Huh. Guess she's still sleeping. Ooh, I don't think she's sleeping. Lily kicks great. Wake up, sleepyhead! Come on, don't. You open the crate. Huh? Oh, oops. Wait, 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 what? Well, why is she there? How did? That, that can't be right. What, what's going on? Dude, oh, the her. fuck is your... Bro, she's like, yeah, she's dead. Fuck that. Let's go home. Play some video games. If you're so weak that you die... Wait, wait, no. If you're so weak that you die just like that, then clearly nature doesn't want you to live. Shut up. Just shut up. Forget this. Let's just leave her here. Since you took the stick off, it looks like she went there on her own anyway. No, it doesn't. Why would she have clawed at the crate until her fingernails split if she was there willingly? Oh well. It's not like anyone knows she's here. Let's just leave her. Now she'll start rotting and, and someone will come looking to find her. I mean, her family was already looking for her. It's only a matter of time until they come check here. So, what do we do then? Um, my... Fuck. Let's just hide it then. What? If no one knows, then it's not a problem. They're gonna know, Sumi. They'll find a body and they'll know. And then they, they, they'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life. Me too! It's fine if it's the both of us. No. No, you fucking idiot. You don't get it, do you? Guys and girls don't get to go to the same prison. They're going to take you away from me. How was I supposed to know that? You figure something out then, since you're so smart. Okay, okay. Let, let's just... Like, um... Move her somewhere. 
Yes, okay, a grave. Let's dig up a grave for her. All right, where? Anywhere in the forest should be fine. I mean, there's a park right outside. Yeah, there's probably there, there is probably first we need to wrap her up in something because no one is gonna see us carry her there. Uh, we need you. I mean, she has real issues, you know. This one's big and heavy. <laughs> this will have to do. get a tarp. You grab Nina's corpse inside the tarp and carry her away. She shows, like, no remorse at all. <laughs> I couldn't find a shovel, but I figured these wooden planks work, too. I mean, they're kind of shovel-y. Just watch for splinters. Splinters are the least of my worries right now. Let's pick a good, easy to dig spot. Wooden plank. Uh, behind this tree, maybe? No? You, you don't like don't, don't like that place? What about this? Maybe here? There doesn't seem to be any roots in the way. I'm tired. Yeah, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Isn't this deep enough already? A grave should be six feet, right? Forget it. She fits in here just fine. I... Okay, fine. Oh god, am I gonna just throw it in here? Right there? Hey, <laughs> the fuck? what do you want to eat today? <laughs> what? What's for dinner tonight? I, I was going to fry some fish sticks. Nice! <laughs> She's worried about fucking <laughs> dinner. I will not eat for like... A week at least. You only and Sumi pushed the body into its grave. Crap. This does not look natural at all. Looks fine to me. No. There can be this this obvious of a spot. It needs to be hiding too. I wanna hide it with some leaves and such? Foliage. Okay, we need foliage and rocks, I guess. Some more foliage is needed. What about this? But now, more? Okay, there's some in here. Okay, we still need more. I don't see where we can get more. Right, there we go. Oh yeah, this looks so much better, huh? Also, this is all getting blown away by the next breeze. There's gotta be something here to hold them in place. The rocks, obviously, I'm such a smart boy, they do not work, what the crap? But the stone, there we go. Nice, makes me want to write her name on it. Out of the question. I wasn't gonna do it, I was just saying. What is it now? She's hidden. What if they find her? What if a police dog picks her up? Listen, forget it. I can't. Of course you can. Did you know that if you don't think about something for a really long time, it's like it never happened? Because you can't remember it anymore. Let's forget all about it. Sumi, I need you to... I need I need to know you won't say anything to anyone. Promise me this stays between us. I just said we'll forget all about it. You said one thing and do another. Promise me that this time. You'll honest to God keep your mouth shut. I promise. Won't say anything. Hell, I'll never even say your name again. What was it anyway? I don't remember anymore. Uh. There, there. It, it'll be fine. Just kidding. 
I'm gonna tell on you. If you won't do what I say, I'll tell everyone all about what you did. Who's going to play with you if I'm in jail? <clears throat> I'll send you letters. I can read your crappy handwriting. Guess you'll have to do what I say then. Otherwise, you'll be all alone in prison. I am your best friend from now on. You are already aware, Sumi. Don't lie to me! Not, I think. Whatever. It's you and me now. No one else will like you. God damn it. Because you're bad. You're a bad person, Pepe. But I won't tell anyone. Of course not. You'd be in trouble too. So what? No one likes me anyway. But that's fine. Because you'll be around now. God, just stupid, stupid girl. I didn't hear this whole time. None of this needed to happen. You could just... I know you don't like me! Pepe, I know. That doesn't matter anymore, because from now on, no one will like you either. So let's always be friends, okay? Be my friend, or else. <sighs> I'll be whatever you want me to be. Really? Then from now on, let's always be together. You had a million things you wanted to say to this creature, none of which were pleasant. But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. Several days went by without a hitch. Can I eat your ice cream? Go for it. Huh? Really? I can't seem to eat anything lately. Mm -hmm. Why do they have to put this jam thing in strawberry ice cream? It's gross. I wish there was no jam. I wish you had the capacity, the capacity to care. Has anyone asked you anything about things? Yeah, my teacher asked everyone in class. Some officers came by too. And did you say anything? Nope. I only asked uh, Julia if she was expecting to see anyone the other day. Why? You know. Because a certain someone told her mom she went to study with Julia. So I thought maybe she told Julia she was gonna come see you instead. Well, did she? I don't know. Because I didn't want to just come out and ask. But Julia said she was visiting family that, uh, that day. So I doubt she had any idea. Your promises mean fucking nothing. Huh? Why are you always being so cold to me? You're worse than you were before, jackass. I gave you my ice cream, yet I'm a jackass? Ah, uh, wait. I see how it is. You're still pining for that bitch. Here we fucking go again. She's dead. You're still on about her, aren't you? It is never good enough. What a snake! I bet she died on purpose. I need a knife. Huh? Where are you going? No, I can move. I guess I'm gonna go grab a knife to do something. You pick a knife from the sink and give it a quick wash. What do I need it for? Maybe I, I want to, you know... Hello. What are you doing with that knife? Briefly, you wonder if killing her will be worth it. I'm going to make a blood oath with you. In return, you have to promise me something too. Okay. Keep my secret, and I'll keep your company. And what if I don't? Guess. <laughs> You're all bark. You wouldn't do anything. 
you'll ruin my life anyway. What reason is there for me to keep up appearances? Moreover, I'm not doing this for you. Then what happens if you break the promise? I won't. If you want. I'm not buying that. Sumi, you're miserable. Loathsome being that has warmed its way into every aspect of my life. And for that, my hair will always have a rotten, moldy sore spot just for you. Make of that what you will. I mean, I'll take it, but sheesh. <laughs> gently, you asshole! How does one cut someone gently? A better man would know. Whatever. And thus, she forever keeps her mouth shut. Okay, as long as you keep your eyes closed. Hmm? Let no hussy steal your gaze. It's just us now. I said they'd be around. I never said there won't be others. Ah, uh, wait. No! I want a do-over. Too late. A promise is a promise. Pepe, that's not fair. Ha, huh, don't be like that. I'll make you a priori priority. Just not the only. It's not enough. Why can't you just... Kill our parents? Hold on. That's not what she said back then. Do it for your cute little sister. I know you want to. Kill them to solve all your problems. Kill them to feel something. Kill them for food. Kill them to avoid the things I'll do to you if you don't. What is that supposed to mean? Look who's awake. Good morning. <laughs> God, still with that voice. <laughs> or night. It's still nighttime. What do you want, you little creep? To offer mom and dad to the demon. Right now? Right now, while they're asleep. I'll set the ritual up and do it. I've given you plenty enough time to figure this out, yet you haven't. So now we're doing it my way. Okay. Oh my, my efforts were far more efficient than I thought. Welcome back, Pepe. That's not it. Did you have a point that mom might snitch on us? I knew that even before we got out of our apartment. I know why I let myself think anything else after talking to her. It's because at your core, you're just a soft, gooey marshmallow. If it weren't for me, all kinds of vile women would have gobbled you up already. Chomp. <laughs> what are you doing? A demonstration. Oh, you, you, you did, you, what? You did not kiss me. You just bite my cheek off. God, <laughs> you're so fucking dumb. Oh shit. Andrew, are you still awake? Our Pepe, good God. Yeah, why are you still up? I thought you had work tomorrow. I wanted to talk with you without Ashley. It's not really a good time right now. Look, I know it's late, but this is important. I've been thinking things over, and I believe I owe you an explanation. That's alright, I don't really need to know. I'm really tired. Ah, uh, she's gonna see Ashley. Pepe, I understand if you're angry, but at least listen. The whole situation with Sumi was... Oh. Oh. Oh, go on, Mom. Don't mind little old me. For the love of God, this it better not be what it looks like. <laughs> Whatever. How does this look to you? Where did you get... What's it looking like now, Mom? 
Ah, uh, uh, Sumi, come on. You know there are not... There aren't any bullets left in that gun. But your mom sure doesn't. Ashley, put that away. There's no need for this. Be quiet and start walking. We're going to the basement. And don't get any funny ideas, because I will shoot. Pepe, go get a rope or something. I'm tying this bitch up. And don't kill dad. You did not need to be told that. Okay, I need rope. Where do I get rope? Uh, here? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's so evil. Oh, shit. You see, you, you're the... You're... You turn the handle, but no. No, this... Maybe in the basement? Oh, why am I outside again? No, that's not what I wanted to do. The, the thing I is... I just want to know... She's the root of all evil. But why does your character go along with it? Because she plays into her mi his mind. I, he he um. He's not a pushover. He just does whatever she says somehow. I think you know what I think. He's scared of her. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, if she does that to others. Ah, there's rope in there? Why is there rope? Oh Why is there rope? <laughs> in my parents' bedroom. Uh, what, what on earth are you doing? Uh, sorry, I needed to... Um, There's absolutely not good explanation as to why you're roaming through the sex <laughs> toys. <laughs> they live a happy life. And the truth, I want to tie mom up. <laughs> doesn't sound any better. Um, I was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh yeah. God. That'll do. Where's your mother? She went to get something from the basement. Actually, I think she could use some help. Confused. Your father goes to check up on your mother. Got rope. Maybe you should hang yourself with it. Uh, honey, is everything all right? You take out your creeper. Oh, uh, I guess it's going to be killing time now. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. There was something up there. What's going on? Pepe, weren't you supposed to be... <laughs> Something real bad and then he asked with a knife, a cleaver to his throat. <laughs> Is he serious? <laughs> but son, weren't you supposed to be master? <laughs> I'm worried about you. <laughs> it's healthy, you know? Don't pressure him. <laughs> Just walk down. Slow and steady. You tie your father up with a rope. You can help but notice some old rope burns on his wrists. Better not dwell on it, as you rather not visualize how they came up to be. Pepe? Oh, sorry. Pepe? Ah, you... Uh, no, whatever. <laughs> I'm just checking if she has something on her. Well, does she? Nope. Pepe! What? I'm still looking for something to tie her up with. Look elsewhere. Don't talk to her. Get away from her. Don't even look her way. God damn. Oh, come on. I can't trust you not to get all misty eyed. Shit, uh, I'm Sumi. Whatever, Marshmallow Spine. Go get that fucking rope or whatever already. Got Christmas lights? Okay, that, that should work. You type your mom using the Christmas lights. So this is what your life has come to. 
All right, good. Now, do you remember how to reform the ri- Hold up. Mom, what's the pin for your credit card? Uh, is that what this is about? Money? You'd go this far for a quick buck? What's the pin? And where's the credit itself? It's in my purse. She tells you the pin. Just scribble it down a note. Okay then, I'm gonna go and try this now. Ashley, Yasumi, you stay here and don't do anything. That depends on them. She gave me that wrong pin. And you end them, then what? Again, it depends on if they behave or not. All right, I'll be quick. No, oh God, me, don't do anything, not yet. Got credit card. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing here? Get back downstairs. They're not going to try anything. It only takes one of them to start screaming for this whole thing to blow up on your faces. It's amazing how cooperative a person is with a gun pointing at them. Yeah, so you point it. I'll be right back. It's just... Come on, out with it. I need to get going. You're with me on this, right? Sacrificing them? Didn't I already said so? Well, you have this habit of flip-flopping. Soon... Fuck. <laughs> Look, just trust me. Just trust me, Sumi. We're doing this. <laughs> You're the best. Come back soon. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, time to get some money. Oh, I'm Sumi now. Oh, I wanted to go get the money. Well, Pep is busy picking up money. He decided to set up the ritual. Or at least what you remember of it. I think it involved blood candles and cannibalism. No, music, runes and a book. Ron, scandals, and, a, and blood? Wait, did we actually need the blood? Yes. No, the book. Music, runs, and book. Do we have the book? Um, I don't remember we had if we had the book. I don't remember if we picked it up or not. There was music. I remember the boombox. There was also candles and blood, though. So, runes, candles, and blood, maybe? Oh, let's go with it. I drew runes on the floor using the warmest blood. Let's set up some candles. There's a big magic circle already drawn. I think it, that was drawn with blood, too. And place it with your memory. Why am I reading your lines? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, something like that. It shouldn't be too hard to do. First, thing, first things first. I need some blood to draw with. Oh no, there you go. I know where you're gonna get the blood from. Two human shaped sacks of blood sit on the floor, but you have nothing to cut them with. I'm sure we can find something here. Or maybe not. Okay, let's go back to the kitchen. Oh, maybe there's something here? No? The kitchen time. Dude, there's nothing. Okay, let's go back to the bedroom, maybe here? There's a key, there's nothing. Dude, there's nothing. What am I supposed to cut them up with? Maybe I'm missing something in here. Outside. Come on now, Andrew. I have Pepe trust you to keep an eye on your parents. Yeah, but I want to cut them. I mean, I don't want to. But <laughs> progress the story. What about if we 
break the TV and man maybe it's downstairs whatever I need is downstairs I need a knife um I need a knife oh screw that I no can use them should be able to use them the candle okay we know where the candles are that's good vinegar stellar mob and that's pretty much it brain functioning toilet dude we need to find a knife so there there must be something in the kitchen and it's just not prompting us to get it uh this truck and a blender there nice there we go yeah. perfect it's time to get blood on our hands i guess Alrighty, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to cut one of you to draw some blood. And if you scream, I'll blow both of your brains out. How about that? Just take the money and go. What do you need our blood for? Oh, so now you care what I'm, all <laughs> what I'm about. Don't you fucking act like I haven't tried with you, Sumi. You're the one who shut me out. But even then, I've stuck my neck out for you all this time. Oh, like that time when you left me to starve for three months? Wasn't you looking out for me? Oh, gee, thanks. You know, god damn it. Well, what I'm talking about. <laughs> I never told anyone what you two little psychos did to that girl. What do you want about? Take your meds. I know you and Pepe did something to that classmate of yours who went missing. I knew it the second she found she was found dead near that warehouse you used to play at. <sighs> Whatever. If I didn't love you, I could have rid you myself. Uh, rid you? Wait, rid myself of you right then and there. When it comes to being a mother. I'm a fucking saint, Sumi. A saint! Ah, yes. The Patreon saint covering one's own ass. Do you have any idea what they would have done to you if they found out? Now then, you paragons of virtue. Let's see whose blood I should use. I guess you're more inclined for the mother, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, honey? That's fine. Don't worry about me. Yeah. She wouldn't worry about you in return. Okay. Hmm. All right. Let's see here. Yeah. Something like that. Now, let's finish drawing this masterpiece. Looky, Ma. I drew a circle. Do you even know what a circle is? Because it's not that. The nerves of you! You never... Get a rise out of you now. Candles, candles, candles. I know where those are. Right here. And I guess we need to put them on the four spots. Alright. That's all the candles I had. Welcome back! Pepe! Give us a hug. You have a draw limit on your card. Did you? You do. You only get a couple hundred before it locked out on me. <laughs> Suck it, bitch. <laughs> Being insufferable ruins in the family. Yeah, well, guess what? 
Now we all get to witness the wonders of customer service. Get up, you have a call to make. Sumi, take her to the phone. You draw your gun. Off we go. Uh, where was the... Okay, right here. You're in luck, as the customer service line has just opened for the day. Yet somehow, there's already a million hour wait. So guess what? Wait. <laughs> Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. <laughs> Please hold. A represent rep representative will be with you as soon as possible. I don't care how that read. Uh, please hold. The representative will be with you as soon as possible. Rarely a quarter millennia later, mother gets a hold of someone. I'm sorry, let me just confirm. You said you want me to remove the draw limit altogether? That's what I said, yes. Oh, that's crazy. What if your car gets stolen? Indeed. I'm not all of uh, I'm not at all being held at gunpoint here. <laughs> there we go. You're gold. Is there anything else I could help you with? Apparently not. All right then. Have a nice day, Miss Mrs. Graves. <laughs> now it's back into the basement with you. And don't think for a second I didn't see the stunt you were trying to pull there. Just small talk. He was trying just to get help. It didn't work. The card should be freed now. Unlike your mother, whom Pepe quickly ties back up. I was looking at what you've set up here. And let's just say, it's not quite there, is it? Yeah, I don't remember what the little ruins look like anymore. God, your memory is such shit. But I already figured as much, so I sketched them out for you. Why didn't you just draw the ruins yourselves? There's blood right there. Because you might have a good reason for not drawing them yet. Alright, fair. Whatever. Give me the card. I'll go pick up the rest of the money. I really don't like the idea of you wandering around all by yourself at this hour. It's already morning though. Well, yeah, but I mean, still. Just hand me the card, I... Actually, can I really leave Pepe alone with mom and dad? Who knows what they'll say to him, and he's wishy-washy enough as it is. Sumi? I wonder if you can trust Aunt Pepe and how to leave him alone with your parents. Uh, save game, for obvious reasons. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna leave this to you. Will you trust Pepe? I mean, you, you need to get into, into the mind of, of Sumi's, of Ashley Sumi's. Um... Yeah, I will don't will, she will she trust him? I don't think she would. Okay, so fuck that. Forget it. This jackass doesn't exactly have a stellar record when it comes to watching over hostages. And I'm still not convinced he didn't try anything with that lady from room 302. Never mind. You're right. I should stay. You go get the cash. All right. Good. Yeah. Here. The candle. Yeah. And the ruins? Okay, so the ruins are pentagrams, but you have to begin drawing them from the. I didn't pay attention to crap like that last time, and everything worked just fine. True. Well, you're the expert here. Do what you will. Leave it to me. First, I need some more blood. More from the mom! This is ridiculous. I can't believe you brainwashed a Pepe to play along to this. The brainwashed him? My ass. 
Who said you're allowed to talk anyway? No one cares what you think. Don't talk to your mother like that, young lady. Please. Got blood again. Uh, okay, runes go in here. Oh, in here. Just three of them? Really? It's probably enough runes. And now the candles. Well, everything is set except the music. I really can't see how I'm going to arrange that. I'm back. Welcome, welcome. You're just in time. I'm about to summon. Ahem. Hello? Hello, Mr. or Miss Demon? I'm sorry you don't have the mood music, but I have the other stuff you asked for. There's no answer. Maybe if I sing something? Please don't. Mercifully, the demon shows up to spur everyone from the second-hand embarrassment. <laughs> ah! Our soul. What the fuck is that? I offer these two. Their screaming is short-lived as the demon steals their souls. Huh. Wonder if I should feel something. Well, anyway, so the music wasn't needed to summon you after all? Why'd I have to play it last time then? The circle is hard to find. Sounds is easy to follow. However, you have my talisman now. It makes you easy to find. Speaking of which... A deal's a deal. Charge it up, please. Your trinket works again. Thank you. What? Hello? This is the brother. Yep, the one and only. He may not be very useful, nor is he particularly loyal, but... But nothing, actually. Honestly... Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> I see. Okay. Farewell, our soul. Until you have another soul to offer. Right. Thank you, and bye-bye. The entity leaps. I don't know why I kept you around, either. I don't know. What do you keep me around for? I'm certainly no pretty lady. You can't even... <laughs> How God. <laughs> I'm just the woman you blame for everything, so you don't have to feel bad. Where is this coming from? But if I left you alone with their parents, you would have sided with them. This again? I already told you I'm with you on this. It isn't beyond you to lie. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry I had to think about it. But shouldn't you be telling that even after I thought it true? I picked you. Pepe picks me one day, then talks to someone else once, and it's hell with me. That didn't happen. I picked you. What more do you want? I want to feel secure in this relationship. Because you give me nothing. And then wonder why I can't trust you for shit. I... I don't know what to say. Well, then just think about it. What are we doing about the... What are we doing about the bodies? Just doesn't seem to matter what I say when you get like this. The bodies. Pepe, focus. Right, bodies. Um... Well, on one hand, we didn't kill them. But on the other... Them having gone missing will finally be better for us. Maybe they just fucked up somewhere, who knows. Meanwhile, if there's a murder investigation. Right, so let's make them disappear. Right, we can start by chopping them up. 
Can we just dump them in the ocean or something? No, Sumi. We're going to make them vanish. No way up shore somewhere. Oh. Before I forget. Here. You can have this back. Return the lighter. Oh, to go about this, we can leave a mess behind. Well, there's a drain right there. How right you are. Oh, there is untying the parents stops. Wait, wait, what? What is it? Is that reading? Take a look, and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so slightly. Ah, he is! Mom too! Try various things, but nothing gets a response from your parents. Yep, their hearts still beat, their lungs throw air on it. God, what is this? Maybe losing your soul just turned you into a vegetable? That can be. The cultist died, and the warden too. Well, I mean, did you actually check? I sure, I sure didn't. I just went to town and started chopping. No, 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 no. Please tell me he wasn't still alive when we ate him. <laughs> what the fuck's so funny about this? Come on now. I'm sure he died pretty quickly from blood loss. If not, you ripping his head off must have done the trick. It'd be the same with these two. Get to cutting. No, that this changes everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. Oh, so if you want to leave them to starve, I'm all for it. Wouldn't it be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. Oh, no, I need to think. Oh, come on. Where are you going? No, Pepe, look. Look here for a sec. What? Ouch. You get your fire too. What are, what are you doing? There, all dead. Now, tell me again how I always make you do all the dirty work. Help bitch and moan. Surely he'll pitch and moan as per usual. But you did not miss that side of relief. Anyway. You drag your parents' lawless and lifeless bodies over to the shower. Oh. You know what? Alright, I'll start guiding. You get the blood into the drain with the shower head. Gotcha. Oh, wait, wait, stop, stop. Stop, it's floating. Huh? Oh, what the hell? Gross! Great, the drain's clogged up. The lid is screwed. Shut, I need a screwdriver. Just keep chopping the bodies. I'll get you something to unclog the drain with. I know where the screwdrivers are. Got screwdrivers. Here we go. How do you unclog this thing anyway? After we unscrew the lid, we can pour down some baking soda and vinegar down the drain. Now, uh, there's there's things in here, I, I guess. The vinegar and baking soda, I guess that will be on the kitchen. And the kitchen is down here. Check the... Uh, got baking soda. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I'm so fucking broke. Okay, let's dispose of our parents. Screw the rain. We're in some um, baking soda first. That starts blowing up, and the clock doesn't listen one bit. Well, we tried. I'll get you some rubber gloves. I'm the one who's gonna have to get in there. But of course, I am but a dainty little lady. You can't expect me to do a man's job. 
fine. Just give me the globes. And when am I gonna find those? Um, when am I gonna find fucking globes? Oh, we do it on the text drawer. No, with the, they were globes right there. I didn't saw them first. <laughs> I didn't say text drawer, by the way. Here you go. Have fun. And it under the rubber gloves. He digs God knows what of the train. Seemingly never ending amount of good no God knows what. Oh, oh God. God. This is disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna gag. They're not helping. Fuck, that is gross, Pepe. <laughs> and he doesn't respond anything to that. Uh, looks like he's finally coming around. Though there being no reaction, at all is a little worse. The drain works. Let's get this over with. You and your brother dismember he bye. and disembowel them and decapitate them. <laughs> what fun! <laughs> Having regrets? Will I be allowed to say so if I did? Of course, you can tell me anything. Anything I wanted used against me anyway. <laughs> I love you, Pepe. I love you, I love you, I love you. Sorry for lashing out earlier. I forgot how hard this is for you. I'm fine. No, you're not. Talk to me. I've got nothing to say to you. Andrew continues battering your parents. And for the first time in forever, you have no idea what he's thinking. So, what's the plan uh, for all this? Or to dispose of it all. Yeah, yeah. But how? Well, just whatever means the bell in the house. Let's look around and see what we can do. Okay, give me just one quick minute, Sums, because someone's calling my phone. No, wait, man. Lady is such a girl boss for real, for real. <laughs> That she is Brady. Oh, that, that she is. A little, a little girl mouse. <laughs> the suspense it's, is drowning. It's killing you. I know I'm waiting to. I'm waiting. I want to know. I want to know what's going on. Ah! Uh, Dying. I also want sushi. Mmm, sushi. All this killing <laughs> makes me want sushi. <laughs> ah. Real, real life. Real life, uh, Lily. I feel like I'm saying her name so wrong. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> I'm back. Let's see how much no. we can advance. Because now they want me to call them, but I will do that after. So we need to find something. Got doors. Oh, we need to pick everything up. That's grimy. What is this? Pile of organs. Functioning toilet. Okay. We need to do what now? Take them out? Can we just bury them on backyard? Mm. Or do something? Do we stuff them in the freezer? No, that's not a good idea. Leaves into chop. Oh, we're gonna cook them? Oh my god. What? What do I do with their faces? Make masks out of them? I don't know. Throw them in the fireplace? And what about the skulls? Well, the skulls we can deal with later, along with what 
Hollow Lord Bones. Oh my god. Zero Sounds of Christmas Smoothie. I will push you for down the kitchen sink. How's that? Good, it's gone. Great, now deal with the rest of the body parts. The support from you today is just overwhelming, huh? Ooh, I know. Let's turn some of the meat into a soup. Throw in some vegetables, maybe spices. And then throw the rest away as scraps. How do you mean the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some. Do you want that? I mean, do you what? Do what you want. What was that soup you made earlier? What were the ingredients again? The soup is right there. Read it. Shame on me for thinking you'd be helpful. It was meat, onions, potatoes, and carrots. Chop everything up and throw them into the pot. Ah, there we go. Thank you. I knew you memorized it, you fucking nerd. You're welcome. Oh, damn it, Zooms. I have all the ingredients. <laughs> no, we're just like guys, eating we're, people. Yeah. We're gonna have to make parent soup later on because I have to end this stream right here and now. But I want to thank... Yeah. I mean, thank the Zooms for joining in. She will hopefully uh, be playing with us the rest of the chapter and episode 3 on another oh, yeah. stream. Because we love to have her back and voicing Lily as the crazy um, lady that she is. So yeah, we're gonna end it here, guys. Thanks a lot for joining. Sumi, thank you a lot for being here. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Please be sure to check her uh, link down below on the description. Uh, her Twitter is right there and she has links to all of the other socials on her Twitter. So be sure to follow her. She's really fun to hang out with and she does really amazing streams. Guys, again, thanks a lot for everything and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Take care. Have a good end of the day. Bye bye.